It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and at who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. What's up guys, I'm Bobby Campbell, I'm known as the Jackhammer, I'm a 10 time world professional kickboxing champion and I'll be making one last return to the ring on August 6th at Mulcahy's. I started doing martial arts when I was 4 years old and then I did my first amateur kickboxing fight when I was 15 years old on one day's notice. And I won my first bout. That was, that, I loved it and I had to stick with it after that. I turned professional two weeks after my 19th birthday. I won an amateur world title when I was 17 years old. I traveled to Greece when I was 18 years old. I might have been 17. 17 or 18 I traveled to Greece. Um, I had four amateur titles. And then um, decided to turn pro, you know, two weeks after my 19th birthday. And I got knocked out. 57 seconds of the first round in my pro kickboxing debut. Um, you know what? It's funny. Now I'm here, you know, 10-time world champion, so never give up. So this next card, um, you know, I'm wanting to put more pressure on myself than I already have. I decided to come out of retirement one more time, and um, I wanted to make it special. So the way I can make it special was I'm going to put my whole fight team on the card. So we have... 10 fighters, maybe 11, but 10 as of now from Team Campbell fighting. And, uh, you know, one of my great friends, Jesse McBroom, is fighting on the card. But also my big brother is making his return, and he is fighting on the card. So uh, there is a lot of pressure on me, which people don't understand. But uh, what they say, uh, pressure makes diamonds. And, you know, I love diamonds. So, you know, it's good, it's good for everyone, I think. So how I picked my opponent for this fight is... um. Honestly, people always say, you know, a lot of fighters cherry pick everything. I, I pick a lot of my fighters. I pick, I try to get the toughest guy out there, and that's who I want to fight. Um, I originally wanted to fight Gary Hamilton, and um, that's, that's just a fight that never happens. You know, it's, it's never going to happen, and I have to live with that. That's never going to happen. That's one guy who I never shared the ring with. But uh, Jason Fasalo is, um, is, he's a stud. This dude is a stud. You know, I, I don't think a lot of people understand that. I mean, I understand who I'm fighting. This guy has 140 fights. 140 fights with 134 of them being victories. So this guy is no slouch. I could say like, oh, I fought the top guys in the world. So has he. So I expect, you know, um, did I, I picked, I picked a tough fight. Like I know I picked a tough fight. So you know, what they say, the, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. And that's, 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 that's how I always fight. So this guy is, uh, like I said, this guy is strong. This guy is fast. This, this guy is skilled with, with each leg, each hand. You know, he, he's a dangerous guy, very dangerous guy. And I know he's a very dangerous guy. So I know what I, I chose to do. And I chose to put myself in a situation that's, you know, that's hard. He knows he's coming into my backyard and he thinks he's going to get the W and, you know, Hey, he's going to he's gonna have to bring it, that's for sure. It's funny because when, when we were discussing the weights about the fight, me and him, he's actually, um, I, I'm actually really a, 
a super lightweight, which is 140 pounds. But I have, I have world titles at you know, 140, 147, and 154. Um, as I retired, every sanctioned body, you know, retired my belts except for one, which is the WKL, which is 154 belt, four pound belt. So he's 154. So they let me defend the belt. So surely I'm going to defend the belt. But, um, the belt doesn't mean anything to me. Like people think like the belts mean everything. They don't mean anything to me, especially now in my career. They don't mean anything. The W means everything to me because it means my legacy. My son's going to be there. And, um, I always tell my son, my son's a very shy kid, and I always tell him that it's okay to be scared. I said, Daddy's scared. Daddy's scared to fight this guy. It's okay to be scared. And he, you know, I talk to him about fear, and I always say to him, like, it's okay to have fear. Fear's okay, but you want to keep attacking your fear until your fear fears you. And that's why I always explain to my son, you attack that fear until eventually that fear fears you, and that's, that's how you have to live life. So, um... This is more of a lesson to teach my son that, you know, that daddy's scared, but daddy's a attack that fear. We're eight and a half weeks out. I mean, you could tell by my face. Uh, I ain't playing no games. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready for a, you know, a rock'em, sock'em war. Like I said, this guy is, uh, I know what he's, what he's going to do. I know what he's capable of doing. I know what I'm capable of doing. And um, I, I believe... This is my last fight ever, so I have to bring out the vintage Bobby Campbell and show everyone what the vintage jackhammer really is. And, um, and I'm going to bring it to him. And I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell him right now, hey, I'm going to make it easy for you. I ain't running. I'm going to stand right in front of you. So, you know, you, you better be ready. On August 6th, decades of dedication will come to a head. The venue... Mulcahy's Pub of Wanta. The matchup, Bobby the Jackhammer Campbell hosts a legendary guest from across the pond, Jason Vasala. For some fighters, the fire that burns within them flames on long after their body and spirit can manage. For Bobby, that is no different. A coach, a promoter, a father, and for one last time, a fighter. The final curtain.